the weekend for braving the elements. Some Geordie Santas for you. Street gear for Sam. Plastic, that'll do nicely. Pair of the half said she was an egg. <laughs> Not gonna do that show, David. Please don't. Ted, come on. Really? In a minute, by the way. I'm looking behind us now. Across the count of time, down the long hall, into history. Where's everybody else? I see the end. What were the You seen him? I thought I told you to move out of here anyway. We know you're working for Colonel Guile. How do you call the police? Get a fucking phone and call them? Or what numbers do you press? I must have been insane to think I could do business. I told you I wanted you out of here, didn't I? I'm trying to relax and watch some TV. What are you doing with that piece of iron? You are by far the weirdest little shit I have ever met. I aim to kill you with it. Hey, is that Malcolm there? Yeah? Okay. Well, to get hold of the police, you're down 999. Might want to tell them to send an ambulance or maybe a hearse. Stupid fucking idiot. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> but I have to do it to help you. Mm. All right, you understand? Thank you. I can't. I'm gonna lower your heart rate too far. I'm sorry. But Twombly, why don't you take a chance, eh? I need you to hold the wound open, keep pressure on the top of the leg. You're you're gonna take the feet and a flashlight. <coughs> Hello? Yes, I'd like the police over at the Wheatley House, please. I just killed somebody with a blade. Yes, I'm sure. I hit him with two good whacks. And that second one almost split his head in two. It's the little yellow house on the edge of Marigold Street and some other street. There's a red van outside that says Doyle Hargreaves Construction. I'll be waiting here. Oh, and Doyle said to send an ambulance or a hearse. Thank you. Third day I washed her. She wasn't really very clean, but I did manage to get all the right spots. She was the first one I kept for any length of time. 
she get bored quite easily, have a short attention span. Can't really say she enjoyed her stay. But the washcloth in her mouth held him with rather good duct tape. Well, that kept all, uh, that kept all complaints to a minimum. I don't like people that talk a lot. I like to do the talking. I suppose that's why I'm so fond of you. You're so easygoing. I do sense a bit of tension in you sometimes. By the way, never did mention what it was like out there. Did you have any fun? Make any new acquaintances? Tell me what it was like. I'm not a boy. You made friends. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I was never bent that way. I'm bent the other way. So, you like to start in the world. It's too big. It's certainly not too big in here, is it? I feel generous today. I feel like listening. I'm sure you've got a lot to tell me. And please, bore me with your details. Oh, come on, Carl. Who'd you kill? Was it the boy? Don't you say another word about that boy? In fact, don't say any more words to me. I'm not listening anymore.